Sierra Spot Playboys, welcome to today's video, man. I can't get over how nice Dusty looks with this new headlight, bro. She looks so, like, aggressive. I love this. Looks so fire. Damn, bro. Sheesh, look at that. So fire, bro. Every time I come outside and I see her like this, it's like, really? This is my car? Ah, <sighs> look at that. So fire. But in today's video, you guys, we're going to be upgrading all the LEDs and Dusty because the ones inside suck. I don't like the tail lights and the headlight, one of my headlights is actually out. So yeah, I got the whole kit for everything right here. Got my last fit. I got a little special thing for inside. And then I also have my LEDs for the inside of the car. So if you guys wanna go, you know, get all this stuff, I'm gonna put the links down below for it. I bought everything from eBay. As you guys know, eBay is the plug. Go to eBay for anything. You can buy so many things from eBay for under retail just because it's on eBay and it, it, they're real, so I can't complain, bro. So to get to this bulb in the headlight, it's pretty easy because it's literally like right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, right there. But this bulb over here is the one that's the pain in the butt. This bulb is like deep in there, bro. I don't even know if I have a bulb in right now. Did I take it out? Oh no, it's still in there. And the car is hot because I did just go on a little drive. So... I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I, don't, I really don't feel like burning myself. Maybe I should do the interior first, then come out to the outside. Yeah, 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 and that's what I'm gonna do. That's smarter. All right, guys, so the process of getting these LED bulbs out is really, really simple. First, let me turn them off since they were on and I don't wanna burn myself. So literally, all you gotta do is get a flathead and just pry it out. You can do either side. It's, it's kinda hard to do one hand. So, all right, I'm gonna put you guys down. And after you guys take it out, you literally just want to pull them down. Whoop, that's one. Garbage. Boop, that's two. Get off. Garbage. And now, it's time for these bad boys right here to go in. Damn, these look so better than the ones I have in. So, for a little comparison, here's the one I had in the car. Here's the one I had in the car. Here's the one I'm putting in the car looks so much better so to put it back in it's really really simple hopefully it's the right one oh got it the wrong way yes sir all right so that's one so if if you Turn it on and it's not working, just flip it because sometimes sometimes you probably put it in the wrong way. Dang, dang bright. So I want to put back the old one just to show you guys a little comparison. This is the new bulb, this is the old bulb. As you guys can see, way brighter. Way brighter. Now the one in the back is the same process. You can get your flathead. And uh I need to put this down again. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys the difference after I uh take it out. So here it is now, and here it is after. And boom, here it is. As you guys can see, it's way brighter than the old one. Like super, super bright. I like that, I like it. One thing I really like about this kit is that it does come with ones for the trunk and for your license plate, which is really, really useful. Cause I don't really like the stock look of them. All right, all right, I know you guys are probably saying, damn, this man black as hell. Chill, bro, I know, bro. I'm just trying to show you guys the dang light, chill. Yes, yes, I know I'm black. But yeah, here's the light right here. Uh, what I used was a fly head and just pried out the side and popped it right out. So, uh, damn, I hope this is not hot. Damn, it's So now we're gonna do the reverse lights, which is pretty easy because they're right here. Um, you do have to take off two tabs just to access it. So one tab right here, another tab right there. I did use my fly head to take it off. And once you pop it off, this is your reverse. All you gotta do is twist and pull out and boom, yes sir. 
Yes, sir. Alright, so it does work. I just checked the film and it looks pretty good too. So now we're gonna do is the license plate one. I tried to do these one before and they were a pain in the butt. Like they didn't want to come out. So hopefully this time around it is not that difficult. Alright guys, so I got it out. It's gonna be connected to this, this piece right here. Like it's gonna be connected to this piece like this, like that. So all you're gonna do is squeeze the sides and uh, pull it out but when it's in the car uh, I would recommend for you guys to get one of these these uh, little plastic like removers because if you use a flathead you are gonna scrape under your car unless you don't really care you can use a flathead but I care so I use one of these and uh you can do whatever you want and nothing will happen to the paint so all right guys so I got them in and they look great look at that fire way better than the old halogens that was in there and they're pretty bright because I can see it in the sun uh, and I'm definitely sure you guys can see it too that's pretty good now all right guys now we're on to the front of the car it should be pretty simple but also pretty hard because the car is kind of still warm but not too hot so I could touch it so yeah man one thing that's gonna suck is getting my hand in that little tight little cramp this spot right here the car is like one of the tightest spots in the car ever that's what he said and uh I don't know how the heck I'm gonna put my hand in that that's what he said but hey man we're gonna try it that's what he said so let's do it man oh by the way i did get some last fit i don't know if i said this already but these are the the ones without the fan so they're really really quiet and uh i feel like these are gonna run way better than what i have in right now yeah man let's try to get this thing out All right, guys, so both the lights are in, and boy, oh boy, they do look good. Ooh, man. I swear, LEDs make a car just like 10 times younger or newer, I guess. But yeah, looks good, bro. Looks really, really nice. All right, so you guys are gonna probably think it's like a little ricer mod, but I don't really give a crap. This is my car, I'm gonna build it the way I want. And I always wanted some LEDs inside the car as you're driving, like the RGB ones. So I went on eBay, I purchased me a set. These are uh, RGB car LED strip lights. I'm gonna put the link in the description in case you guys wanna go purchase yourself a set. And uh, these are like one of the best ones. I got these for $10. They retail, well, they originally sell for like 25, but I guess I got it on sale. And uh, yeah, bro, we'll see how good they are. I tried them on inside my house and they were pretty nice, pretty bright. And also they listen to like voices and music. So as you were like playing a song, it changes to the beat and stuff, which is pretty cool. But I really just wanted it for like a nice little scenery while you're driving, not just to have it to change colors while I'm driving and stuff. Cause I feel like that's really distracting. But yeah, man, should be a pretty simple install comes with all the 3m tape that you need like a lot and it comes with it already on the back of it so if you like mess up i guess you could change it i'm guessing but yeah it's pretty dope um yeah bro it's pretty it's pretty easy process to do literally you plug it in into your cigarette not your cigarette lighter you plug it into your usb and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna figure out where i want this and how i want to route it because i don't want any wires because these are pretty long but yeah, man, this should be a pretty nice install, boy. All right, guys, so I got them in. You can barely see any wire. You only can see that wire. I've been trying to figure out how I can put this so you don't see it. But I'm thinking we're going to get some uh, tape and just tape it up there. And you won't see it at all. On this side, you can barely see any wire. I don't know. Maybe you guys can see that wire right there, but probably not. It's like right there. 
but uh yeah everything is in i already got a wire to the back so all right dang bro this light is bright but yeah all i gotta do now is just turn on the car so i can show you guys so here we go and they should be on oh there we go yes sir that's fire bro i already like that a lot let's close the door dang that's nice as you guys can see the back also does it sorry about the mess but yeah man that's fire this is real nice i want to get some to put inside here because i think that'd be pretty fire but uh i'm not gonna worry about it right now and these lights are bright the one in the back is pretty bright like look at that you guys that's crazy wow So this is why I'm gonna end off the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And if you guys are interested on the stuff I bought for this video, I'm gonna leave everything down below in case you guys want to go purchase it and do it for your own car. But yeah, man, your boy's out. Peace.